Hi, this is Jody from MCPActions.com. Today, this is part two of the grass is always greener, the sky is always bluer. So pay attention and I'm gonna show you some ways to make your photos look more natural with your grass and with your skies. You will notice in this photo called Hit the Hay that a uh, color pop has been done to it and probably too much of a color pop. I know it's very popular right now to have bright colors in your photos, but a lot of times when you increase saturation via hue saturation, channel mixers, lab mode, your colors often will end up too neon, too bright, your greens will look yellow, and so on. I'm gonna show you some ways to fix this photo today so we can make your sky look better and so we can make this grass and the hay look much more natural. We're gonna be working today on an adjustment layer and we can either go under layer, new adjustment layer, hue saturation, or we can come in here with this black and white circle and click on hue saturation here. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be working with selective colors in the hue saturation box. So if you come to this drop down, you'll see there's a master red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, or magenta. So with this photo, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna impact um, we're going to start with the hay, and we're going to start with reds and yellows, because I see that's a lot of what's in the hay. And we're going to go ahead and start by decreasing the saturation of the reds a bit. And you'll notice if we increase them to 100%, you can see anywhere that there's red in the photo. So you'll see how glowing that becomes and how in the grass there's some specks of red as well. We're going to decrease this until it looks natural, which is probably about there. And you'll notice there's still a little bit dark. This whole area where it was red, a little bit dark. So I'm going to increase the lightness a little bit as well. And you can see if we did it all the way, it starts to almost look black and white. So we're going to go ahead up to about 40%. And we're going to actually work on each color separately today. So I'm going to click OK. You could do this all on one um, layer mask and all one adjustment layer, but I'm going to go ahead and show you on separate ones. And we're going to label them each time also. Sorry about that. Okay. So we're going to call this the hay. The next thing we're going to work on is, again, we're going to open up a new adjustment layer and do hue saturation. And we're going to go ahead and work on the grass with this one. The grass is very yellow. So we're going to go ahead, I know people think of grass as green, but this grass is very yellow. We're going to start out by playing with the hue a little bit. Because you can see if we come in this way, we can change the color of the grass. If we increase it, it's going to be making it more of a bright green, like a Kelly green. If we decrease it, it starts adding in more oranges and such. So I'm going to increase it just a little bit, but I'm going to be taking the saturation of the yellows out quite a bit. So I'm going to come down here and I'm at about negative 30 something. Then with the lightness channel, we can increase or decrease the lightness. Of course, if again, if we come in here and go up too much, it's going to start looking kind of dull. If we come down here, it'll make it kind of deeper. So I'm going to go ahead and decrease the lightness a little bit of this channel of the yellows. And then let's go ahead and work on the greens as they relate to the grass. Now you'll notice if I increase it to 100%, there's actually not a lot of green. I know, it looks green. You can see little specks of green if you look carefully. There's not a ton of green in it, so I'm not going to actually worry about that as far as the grass today. So I'm going to go click out of here, so we actually only worked with the yellows so far. And we're going to call this grass. Next thing we're going to work with is the trees, which is, there are, is some green in the trees. So we're going to go ahead and we can do new adjustment layer this way this time. When you do it this way, it actually pops up a dialog box where you can label it. So we're going to go ahead and call this trees. We're going to click OK. And we're going to work with the greens this time. I'm going to pull the box down so you can see. If we increase the saturation, you'll see how bright the whole tree line is getting, especially where it meets the sky. If we decrease it, you'll see how dark it gets. So I'm going to actually increase it a little bit. And we're going to play now with the um, lightness and darkness and decide what we, we like that better. I'm going to actually go a little bit lighter. And then with the hue, we can decide if we want it to be more of a green, lush green, or if we want it to be more of an earthy green. So for this photo, we'll actually go more, a little bit more earthy, a little bit more um, subdued. So we're at negative 17, plus 23, and plus 20. So that's our tree layer. And lastly, we're going to come in here and work on the sky. So we'll do a new adjustment layer. We're going to go hue saturation, and we will call this sky. And again, we're going to keep everything else the same in that box. 
And with the sky, most people would say the sky is blue. And I'm going to show you that it is a little bit blue by putting it up to 100%, but it's not very blue. It's actually more cyan in this particular sky, in this particular photo. If I increase it, you'll see how much brighter and bolder it gets when I increase the cyans. But it's definitely a little bit of both. So, the thing we're going to play with here is actually the hue starting out. And you can see how you can change the color of your sky. So if you don't want it so cyan looking, we can actually make it more of a blue. We can even make it more purple. We can slide it in and we could actually make it look more sunset colors if we wanted. So you can see how that would look on the photo. And I'm going to come in here and make it back blue again, but I'm going to be at about plus 25. So it's more of a realistic blue. And then we can come in and decide if we want to saturate it more or desaturate it to make it realistic. I'm going to actually desaturate it by 9. And lastly, the lightness and darkness. This will make it look like it's a little bit darker, and this will make it brightened up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do this as negative 12. So now I've got plus 25, negative 9, negative 12 for the sky. So our before and after so far, if I alt click on the background layer, you'll see it went from that to that. Now yeah, this isn't as bright and colorful and such, but look how much better the colors look starting out. Now we could actually go in here and pop the colors a little bit, or we could do a curves adjustment layer, which I'll go ahead and show you. We could come in here and just, we'll call this overall. And I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of an S curve. Which this, this will make, by doing the S curve, I'm pulling down in the shadow area, which makes the darks darker make the lights lighter. And if I want to pull up the mid-tones a bit, we can do that too. And I'm going to click OK. So now you'll see this just kind of made the photo pop a little bit. And there you have it. We went from going from this color popped photo, which is way too color popped, to this, which is way more natural. Hope you enjoyed my video tutorial today on the grass is always greener, the sky is always bluer. This is Jody from mcpactions.com. Please continue to visit my blog for updates and Photoshop tips and tutorials. Thank you.